John here and uh, this video is about uh, the email verifier um, and how to use it. So the email verifier is used for getting all the verification links from an email account without you having to open each activation email sent from WordPress for each blog created. So I've got the email verifier open here uh, and um, you can see it's been activated because this is uh, doled out, disabled, and um, we've already got in the mail server, we've already got the um, address of the mail server for Gmail, that's all automatically put in there, so you don't have to worry about that. And then for the username, you put in the email address, which is the Gmail address, which I've got copied here, I'll just type it in, awesome im tools at gmail dot com. This is this is the one that we set up for the blogs to send the verification links to. And then we put in a password and I'll just blank this out as I put this in. And then what now the next setting here is port nine nine five, that's what Gmail uses um, as a um, for their mail server ports, so you don't need to change that. It, when you use Gmail too, it has to use SSL, uh, so that's already ticked for you. And then we have this option here which says delete email from the server. So uh, if you tick this, what will happen is is that the email verifier will go through all the emails in the email account, and uh, the ones that it uh, finds the WordPress links in, it'll grab the link and then it'll delete it for you. Um, but if you um, would like to keep those um, because you might want to um, get those links again, uh, then you can just leave this unchecked. So I, I usually leave this unchecked to start off with, and then once I'm comfortable with the whole process, then I'll, I'll check it to say delete email from server, which makes it a bit quicker. Now I've also set up a uh, Gmail address here. You probably noticed in the other the other um, videos that I used a different Gmail address, and uh, I'm using a new Gmail address here, so that. Um, um, which is just dedicated to creation of these blogs. Uh, so it doesn't mix it up with all the other stuff that I've got in there. Okay, so that's all you need to put in there. And uh, then we push get links. So there we go, there's a status, it's logging in. Oh, and there we go, that was very quick. So there we go, so these are all the links that it's got from all the email addresses. And so all we do now is we save this, and we want to save it into the uh, folder, um, our our awesome folder. So if I just go to, just bear with me, sorry, back into our account creator folder. Sorry, here we are, and um, just move that out of the way. Okay, now we want to save it. We want to save it into the verifylinks.txt. Now you see there's already a uh, a file here, but if there isn't, you need to create one called verifylinks.txt, and it must be that name. The reason why is because the verify the the uh, blog verifier uses this verifylinks.txt name, but I'll cover the next video about that. So just save that. Yes. And so we've done that, and I'll just show you if we have a look at the verify links. And there are all the links there. And that's pretty much it, really. So I'll just go back to the verify. Um, so it's very, very quick. And uh, so we've got all those links there that look like it looks like it's all pretty good now. Um, let's delete them from the server. So let's do this. And. Just get rid of all these again, and this time we'll click get links, but we're going to delete the email from the server. Logging in. And we'll just go and check, I'll just bring up my Gmail account. And there we go. So, that's pretty much the email verifier. 
very quick. It only works with WordPress links um, and it's for account creation but you can use um, any account you like here, uh, any email account. Um, and, but we use the Gmail account because we can take advantage of the naming of it to make it uh, unique as discussed in the other video. Okay, thanks. I'll see you in the next video.